Hi everyone, I'm Angela with High Quality Organics, the largest wholesale supplier of organic ingredients. Today I wanted to share with you some fun twists you can make on your favorite lemonade recipe. Now I'm going to show you how to make your own homemade lemonade, but of course feel free to buy your favorite organic lemonade at your grocery store. You can easily infuse that ready-made lemonade with some of these great organic herbs and you'll have a beverage that's equally delicious. So first, I'm going to show you how to make homemade lemonade and we're going to be making one of my favorites. It's a strawberry basil infused lemonade. Now to begin, you're going to need to juice probably 8 to 12 lemons to make one cup of lemon juice. Then you're going to take about half a pint of strawberries and you're going to remove the stems and puree them in your food processor. If you want to, you can strain them and remove the seeds, but I didn't want to bother with it, so I'm putting the seeds in. You want about one cup of fruit puree. For the lemonade, you're going to need your one cup of freshly squeezed lemon, a large amount of ice, three cups of water, and then to add the sweetness to your lemonade, you're going to make a simple syrup, and that's where you're going to infuse the herb. So we're going to go ahead, and I've already added one cup of organic sugar to two cups of water. Typically a simple syrup is a one-to-one -one ratio, one cup of water to one cup of sugar, but because we don't want our lemonade that sweet, we're doing two cups of water to one cup of organic sugar. You're going to go ahead and combine that on the stovetop and you're going to bring it to a simmer making sure that the sugar is fully dissolved. Then you're going to add a large bunch of basil. Now I took basil from my herb garden but you're going to need about the equivalent to what you usually get in a fresh package in the produce section so you can grab one package of fresh basil in your produce section at the grocery store or I would say it's probably about 15 leaves from your basil plant that you're going to want to infuse into your simple syrup. You simply tear the basil and let it simmer. I have it on a very low simmer now I've been letting this simmer for about 20 minutes. Ideally, let it steep for anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. As you make this recipe, you'll start to learn how strong you want your si simple syrup. Some people love a strong basil flavor and some people don't care and really prefer a subtle basil flavor. So after that steeped for some time, again mine has been steeping for about 20 minutes, go ahead and turn it off and you're just going to strain the basil out of your simple syrup. Now my simple syrup has a brownish color to it. That's because I'm using organic cane sugar. So the sugar is already naturally a little brown. So be careful, this is going to be hot. I'm just going to set it aside for a couple of minutes. And now all you do is simply combine your ingredients. You're going to take your one cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. You're going to take a bunch of ice. I've My ice has been sitting here for a little bit, so I'm going to shake it up. And you're going to carefully add it to your pitcher. I'm going to give that a stir. And then because I've got my ice in here, I'm just going to go ahead and add my simple syrup. I can always add more ice. So that's the basil infused simple syrup. Give it another stir. And then last, I'm going to go ahead and add my about one cup of pureed strawberries. And again, we're going to give that a simple stir and you're ready to serve. Of course, you could pop it in the refrigerator and keep it overnight. It's a beautiful red color and you could serve perhaps with a garnish of basil. So that's how you make an infused lemonade with a homemade lemonade recipe. Now, say you're pinched for time. I encourage you to buy your favorite store-bought lemonade. Um, there's some great brands out there that are really good quality. 
you can do one of two things. For my rosemary peach infused lemonade, what I did was I bought some rosemary because I didn't have enough in my garden and I pureed about two to three peaches. I did three. Um, again, you want about one cup of fruit puree. Now the recipes that I found online call for peach nectar. I didn't have that and I wasn't gonna bother with it. Peach puree works just as well. It gives a beautiful peach flavor. So what I'm gonna do, because I'm pinched for time, I bought my store-bought lemonade, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull the rosemary off my stem. I'm gonna to try to break it up a little bit to release some of that rosemary essential oil. So you're gonna go ahead and do this with all the rosemary sprigs. You're gonna to want to do this with at least three to five rosemary sprigs. I started with three and it wasn't enough, so do more. <laughs> and again, this is where you start to experiment and you figure out how much flavor you want with a rosemary. And then you're gonna add your peach puree. So again, three to five rosemary sprigs and then one cup of peach puree. Ooh, I'm getting a little full. <laughs> and then again, you just stir. Way too full. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit overnight. And I'm gonna let the rosemary just steep in the pitcher with the lemonade and the peach. And then in the morning, I'm going to go ahead and strain the rosemary out and serve over ice. It's absolutely delicious. One of our favorites, peach and rosemary infused lemonade. And as my husband would like to suggest, equally delicious with a little bit of vodka. <laughs> okay, the last one is another recipe that you can do when you're in a pinch. And again, you can do all of these recipes with the simple syrup infusion and the homemade lemonade. I wanted to give you some options in case you're pinched for time. So this one we let steep overnight. Another way that you can infuse your lemonade that you bought at the store is you can, you can put your lemonade on the stove top and you can bring it to a little bit of a simmer. And then this one is gonna be a lavender inf infused lemonade. Now I tried this the other night and I just put one sprig of lavender from my garden and it was ever so subtle. At first I just tasted lemon when I was, uh, when I was drinking the lemonade and then at the very end I tasted just a hint of lavender. So what I would suggest is you do at least three to five, maybe even more sprigs of fresh lavender from your garden. Make sure it's uh, safe lavender, one that hasn't been applied with any treatments. Um, wash it good, and then if you want to, break it up in your saucepan so you can release some of that essential oil from the lavender. And again, just let it steep like a tea for five, 10, 15, 20 minutes, and then bring the lemonade and the lavender, strain it, and uh, pour it over ice and you're ready to enjoy. Another way you can do it is if you don't have lavender in your garden, you can buy culinary lavender. Now it's often not available in common grocery stores, so you're gonna have to look at a specialty food store or I'd suggest just go online. And a lot of online stores have culinary lavender and you can do the same thing. You're gonna wanna take about two to three teaspoons pour it in the saucepan with your pre-made lemonade that you bought at the store and again just bring it to a little bit of a simmer just like you make tea and let it steep for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes until you get that flavor you like. So these are just three simple recipes of fun things you can do with your lemonade during the summer, a great way to impress your guests. I have all the detailed recipes on our blog, www.hqorganicsblog.com. Check them out and please let us know if you try these at home or if you have some other flavorful combinations that you like to do, please share with us. If you have any questions about what high quality organics can provide for you in regards to organic herbs, spices, teas, or ingredients, please visit us on our website at www.hqorganics.com where we have lots of information about the growers we work with around the world, our services, and the many ingredients we offer. Thanks for watching. Thank